I first got into cycling in 2001 when my neighbor bought me my first road bike and taught me how to ride. And then I was kind of off and on for a few years, especially while I was coaching football. And then I really got back into cycling when I retired from coaching football in 2009. And then I started getting into endurance races and the biggest one we have in America is called Loto Ja, and that is 204 miles. And I did my first Loto Ja in 2010, and then I've been doing it ever since. Today, it looks like I'm gonna start one of the craziest journeys in my life. I've been doing Loto Ja for the last nine years, and I've won the last three in a row. And I've decided it's time for a new challenge. So, I got this crazy idea that I would try and uh, find the biggest race around I could do and see if I could make it happen. And so I did something really insane this week. This week I signed up for a race called Saints to Sinners. And you have to do it in 36 hours. So it's nonstop, July 26th and 27th. Only four guys have ever completed it solo. They have a lot of relay teams that do it, but only four guys have done it solo. And I'm gonna be number five. How insane is that? And I broke the record and turned in a time of 33 hours and five minutes. But then five days later, I got disqualified on a technicality. In the rule in the race Bible states that the rider must return to the previous spot where he got off his bike and resumed the race from there. Thus, I was disqualified. I'm for sure going to do Loto Jaw again next year, but I'm toying with the idea of doing another 500 mile race next year. Well, when I did the first one, I had a bad ending, so I want to do it one more time, but I have to be in really good shape and I have to be not have any injuries and so if my back heals up and I don't have any problems with my foot I will do that as well but yeah it's definitely gotten better after I did the 500 mile race in 2019 then I had the foot surgery and it's been almost two years now since my foot surgery I would say it's probably about 90 percent now the bigger concern I had was last year a year ago um, this time I had back surgery but my back feels really good and my foot feels almost really good I will for sure do loaded jaw and then maybe the hoodoo 500 in st. George if I do the 500 miler so I'm not done riding I'm gonna keep riding for sure it's just a matter of how much time and energy I have and I want to devote to cycling but I'll for sure do loaded jaw